Thank you, Scott, and it's always great to be with you at this uh, gathering where we sort of showcase uh, the creativity and innovation uh, that you bring to addressing the big challenges we've got, trying to make sure we have a more energy efficient economy, focusing more on renewables, uh, and addressing the challenges of climate change. Uh, I'm really pleased also to be here with uh, Don Young, uh, who you're going to hear from in a minute, and this has been a bipartisan uh, caucus uh, where we do try to showcase the good work that you're doing in states across uh, the country. Uh, I should say that you know, Congress needs to uh, continue to help push uh, our investment in clean energy technology along. Uh, that means at the very least uh, that we should extend uh, and streamline some of the tax credits we have to encourage investment uh, in clean energy technology. Uh, it also means we need to prevent, as we have for the last two years, some of the very deep proposed cuts uh, that we've seen in the administration's budget to important Department of Energy uh, and, and the other energy efficiency programs. Those investments are really important, so thank you for working on a bipartisan basis uh, in the House and the Senate uh, to prevent the cuts that have been proposed um, in the last two years. Uh, in my view, we need to be doing a lot more at the federal level, uh, both because of the the, the challenge and threat of climate change, which uh, the American people are seeing every day uh, in their daily lives, uh, as well as the fact that our economic competitors, uh, like China, who back in 2005 was only investing half of what we do in the United States on clean energy technology, uh, is now spending almost two times as much uh, when you look at their public and private investment, because they know where the future is, and uh, if we don't wake up around here, uh, we're going to get caught behind. Despite all your efforts, we need a bigger infusion of investment in clean energy technology. Uh, that's why I've introduced uh, the Green Bank legislation, uh, and we've also introduced the climate bank legislation. Lots of different approaches to this issue, but the bottom line is we need more private investment, but also more public investment uh, in clean energy and renewable energy technology. I'll just close with this. Uh, I don't, are there any Marylanders in the room? All right, we got some Marylanders in the room. Any Alaskans in the room? All right, all right. Alaska and Maryland power. Let me just say to Marylanders, the Maryland legislature uh, passed uh, an increase in our renewable energy portfolio uh, strategy. I think 50% by 2030. Uh, and Maryland, that was a great step. And Maryland is also home now to two big offshore wind projects uh, where we're in the final stages of uh, federal government clearance. I think two big projects offshore uh, is uh, the biggest number in the country, I believe. Um, we need to maintain our lead in Maryland. Uh, thank all of you for what you do. Uh, Congressman Young, thank you for your leadership. Scott, thank you. Is Carol Warner here? I want to thank her, her and the team. Uh, but most of all, thank you. You're the, you're the folks who help drive the innovation uh, that we're going to need to uh, meet the threat of climate change and take advantage of the opportunities uh, that we all share. So thank you. Thank uh, you great so to be here with the caucus.